Hi everybody, welcome to day four of the uh, Master Your Media Marathon that we've been going through this week. Hi, my name is Sophia Pacifico Hayes and I'm a visibility GPS strategy coach for coaches and I'm from increaseyoursocialreach.com. So please come and visit me um, at increaseyoursocialreach.com. Let me see if I've got, I'm live on my phone so I can share with my event page and my group. Okay, I am live. Share the group. So today we are talking about uh, launches and, you know, are you launching soon? Okay. Um, so if you are, let me just, if you are, let me know in the comments. If you're watching the replay, please, um, you know, put in the comments. Um, if you are launching an event or if you are launching a program, um, a coaching program, anything that, a retreat, anything that you might need to create bars around it to, and come and, um, what, you know, watch me. So, uh, let me just, one more thing, just going to share it again with the event because this is what it matters. We just need to create bars around what's going on. And at the moment I'm creating bars around um, my workshop, my free workshop that I've got going on this week. Um, I can't do it for the event, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so creating bars, creating bars. Um, right, um, there's a system to um, actually launch a program um, when you first start and this, this system is flexible it's not really um, you know it's one thing only but it will really help you right there is some sections to this um, um, system to this um, checklist if you may um, that you need to pay attention to, okay? And the most important part before you go and launch and, um, you know, um, you've got an event coming, um, the most important part is the prep work. Preparation is um, very, very important for anything you do. So before you prep, before you launch, you need to prep okay it doesn't um, it doesn't mean that you're gonna have to prep for a long time but set set aside a week that you're gonna prep and um, these are su some of the um, components that you have to take in, into consideration when you are prepping for a launch right so the, the what goes into a prep work okay so you need to be very very specific and determine why your event, your launch is important to your target audience. Why is it important? You have to write this down, you know, write all down. Why is it important? Why do they need your program? Why do they need to come to your retreat? Why do they need to come to your event? Okay. So, um, and after that, you need to really um, determine as well what is the end goal for the event okay so um you know for example i've got an event coming um in on the 20th of february uh is my second group launching coaching program and i was very very specific on what i need so uh the end goal my target for that event for that launch is um a limit a number of um, coaches consultants and trainers and I've limited the number to 10 so that's the target um, I was very specific on the price I was very specific on the early bird price that I've got going on so the date uh, how long the launch is gonna be for so be very specific um, what is the end goal for the event <clears throat> Also, another thing that you need to do that is very, very important 
is to identify your audience okay um, you cannot target everybody and anybody um, the more targeted your audience is the better you are going to craft that message um, that is going to resonate with that audience and they're going to turn around and say yes I want in so you need to be very very um, specific and what you know what what who is your audience and who you are targeting so for example in my case I'm targeting business coaches I'm targeting health coaches life coaches um, confidence and money coaches and also consultants um, that need that roadmap um, for uh, mastering your media okay so the next thing that we need to do and this is all going to be in the document if you have registered for this marathon right you must have received every single day you must have received um, a freebie okay um, and one of the freebies for today is my the marketing flow uh, checklist that I'm talking about right now okay so um, the next the next stage is to identify your message you need to be very clear on your message for that specific launch okay um, and that is based on who is uh, who you're targeting for the launch and what the end goal for the launch is so write down write down your message um, so for example my message is the message is about overcoming your visibility demons uh, blocks and fears showing up authentically and allowing them to achieve the results they want for their business and have successful launches and clients knocking on their door um, I've got a second part of the message about taking action and investing in their coaching business another thing that you need uh, in the prep area of the the launch is to ident identify the distribution channels okay what I mean by, by what I mean by this is you need to really know where and how you're going to show up on Facebook Facebook group Facebook page Twitter LinkedIn anywhere so you have to identify the, those distribution channels and that goes back to what I spoke before this week um, not just identifying the channels but also ch you need to check that your target audience the the, the, the people that you're tra targeting um, they are in those channels so you have to be very very astute in which channels you choose so you know that they are hanging out basically so also on the prep work um, you need to identify an unique event hashtag okay um, one of the rookie mistakes that people do all the time is just you know just use hashtags willy-nilly without a purpose okay you can create a hashtag for your event and for those of you that don't know what a hashtag is it's just a group of conversations where um, people go to talk about a specific topic okay um, you can find hashtags uh, on hashkify uh, me I can put a link down below in the comment section and uh, you can also uh, create your own hashtag uh, if you go to twubs.com so that's t-w-u-b-s.com you can create your own hashtag so for this event that I've got coming my hashtag is master your media and I've got other hashtags that I'll be piggybacking um, while I'm doing the launch of the program but I don't use more than a couple of hashtags at a time because like I said before a hashtag is a conversation and if you put too many hashtags it just gets really crowded and the hashtags need to be really really specific so um, also research other um, hashtags you need to research other hashtags um, and for that is the link that I told you about the hashkify me uh, link you can uh, put a specific hashtag so for example for me it will be coaching and it will give you all the segments that are linked to that main hashtag 
and you can um, see the uh, how they are popular and you can you can actually piggyback on those with your own hashtag so that's the prep work there's of course a more detail into the document that i'm going to send you by email um like you know creating a blog post about the event um and start gathering materials start gathering you know graphics and uh, your logo and um anything so start connecting with partners that are going to help you with your event with your launch and um, send them an email and tell them this is what's coming up um, you know can I have your support can I have your um, collaboration can you spread the word for for us um, also another thing that is really good uh, to create before in the prep um, um, area is um, to create a video a video a little sneak peek video of what's to come what, or what the program involves what's coming up on the um, on the week's uh, program for example uh, or what's coming up on event if you have an event a, uh, a day event that uh, that you are um, launching what, what what is what is the topics that you're going to talk about so a little sneak uh, uh, video um, about what's going to happen um, okay there's other things in the prep um, area that you need to do this is um, not just you know it's not set in stone kind of checklist you you really need to think out of your out of the box and really need to think of ways that you're going to attract more um, more of your audience and um, specific to the channels that you're in so you really need to think out of the box and you know there's so much around in social media that you can utilize that you really need to not get stuck of what's not working um, but just you know just experiment experiment and test if something is not working today it might work tomorrow so if something didn't work yesterday you know try something different um, so this is not like um, a checklist that it's going to be like you should do this a b c but um, you know think about a1 and um, b2 and stuff like that um, so it don't have to do everything that it says on it for example um creating a facebook event page you know you don't have to um by doing so though it's going to kind of uh allow you to invite people that are connected to you for example you can do um uh, you know a pinterest board for example you can do a pinterest board and invite people to go and watch your Pinterest board what's you know with ideas with little snippets of video snippets or image snippets of what's to come with your event so this is all just like creating the bars you know just creating the bars and make it the event or the launch visible so people know what you, you know what's coming up for you what what's happening and that's what's more important to you. You might have webinars coming up, uh, you know, in the week's launch launching. So um, the, the next stage then is, um, you know, I th uh, creating, you know, creating the social bars. So you can do this um, three, four weeks out from the event. OK. Um, it's not uh, you know like different people have different types of ways of launching an event and sometimes you don't even need a three-week um, um, social bars created if you are quite popular if people are starting to trust you like you and know what you do it, you know it, you probably just need just a week to to create all that bars and um, and, and launch basically I've seen it in many many programs um, just recently uh, a colleague of mine has launched her a beta program 
in just three days and she um, achieved a target of 10 people into that program you know so it's be just because she is um, very popular um, she has a very engaging group she's got a very engaging community so people already knew her before she launched the program uh, and I've seen other other um, examples of launches that have been launched with just webinars and um, people were invited to the webinar. That's where you give your value. That's where you tell people what's, you know, what you have and how you can help them. So um, there are different, so many different ways of launching a program, of launching an event, okay? So don't get stuck on, you know, it needs to be exactly A, B, C, because it doesn't really. And it just all depends on um, how popular you are in your business and with your community. So the um, so that was a social buzz um, section, okay? And the next section um, is the promotion time. So that two weeks out from the event, there is a promotion time. Um, you can, you know, create scheduling tweets. You can create small little tweets. Um, you can create an affiliate partnership with, um, some of your more engaged community and they know you and they have already done your program and they are happy to spread, um, the word for you. Um, you can, in the promotional, uh, period, you can also create some Facebook ads and it's all in there. Um, in the promotional period, for example, if you create a Facebook event like I did with this workshop, you can uh, post and continuously post inside the event. So they are continuously being reminded that the event is coming and what's coming. So you can continuously give them um, inspirational quotes or uh, tips or tutorials or, you know, reminders that the, the event is coming. Um, also, um, on the promotional side, you can just do like an email to your list. So there's all sorts of different things that you can do. And it's in the um, checklist that I'm going to send by email to the ones that registered to the um, MYM marathon. Okay, Master Your Media Marathon. And then the next stage is just build, build a bus, build a bus. One week out from the event and the launch and build a bus. And again, there's, you know, certain steps that... Um, that you could create for yourself and not forgetting that during the event as well <coughs> sorry so during the event let me just drink a bit of water during the event as well it's very important to actually tell people right um we've closed now um these are the people that said yes. These are the people that are participating. It's different with the group uh, coaching program to kind of like, um, you know, tell people about the program because you're just starting. But for example, if you've got a retreat or if you've got an event, you know, a physical event uh, that you're doing on the day of the event, you know, tweet about uh, what's happening. Um, create posts on Facebook, um, tag people that are coming to the event, that are uh, participating in the event. And of course, then um, after that is, uh, don't forget also, after the, the events happened, um, that, you know, everybody's satisfied with your launch and your event, the, the one thing that some people um, might, forget is the aftermath the aftermath of the event you know um so if for example you're running a, a group coaching program uh when the program finishes or even during or each module send them a survey and ask them you know are they enjoying what parts are they enjoying more uh, what do you think on module number one what do you think on module number two uh, what can you um recommend uh, will do better 
um, so you having the feedback of them so you can adjust improve and um, you know review what's happened and do better for next time so um, yeah so this is just like a step-by-step -step, um, checklist that you can uh, create if you are launching programs um, or events or retreats so um, I hope you enjoyed it I haven't got anybody live at the moment um, so if you have any questions whatsoever please please <clears throat> put them in the comments and I'll come back and respond to those um, you know in my own time um, if you have um, if you still want to register for the Master Your Media Marathon I know today is a four and tomorrow we are only gonna have a mastermind session for the ones that registered to, to, for the group so we can kind of like brainstorm um, ideas and brainstorm how they got you know the struggles and the challenges that they've incurred this week um, but if you still want to um, to register for this program, uh, you can do that. So on the link that I put below uh, above, which is a bitly link uh, mym dash marathon, okay, and um, this will be repeated later on in another month. I don't know yet when. But we're going to do this workshop again and we're going to send you all this goodies as well. So let me know uh, if you have any questions whatsoever. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. And happy launches, you know. Um, just just do it. Just um, launch it. Don't get stuck with the techie gremlins of how to launch. I'm here to help you. And this checklist will help you too. So I'll speak to you very, very soon. And um, I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Bye-bye.